Sorry guys, I didn't tell y'all uh, that I was going to end the first video. Um, I didn't want it to be too long, and so I ended it and went ahead and uploaded it. Uh, this is part two, so thanks for joining me. Hopefully you came along after watching the first one. If not, please go back and watch it uh, as well. I uh, found something right here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good if it is what it looks like. It's a uh, Mosasaur vertebra. Okay. Well, it's not in as good a shape as what I was hoping with the nice smooth uh, surface of the vertebra, the back and the front. I thought it was going to be in better shape, but this one has been beat up pretty bad as well. It's just that portion has survived all right. So not as exciting as I was hoping it would be. Um, we found a few things. There's been a lot of small stuff, shark's teeth and things that uh, I'll include in this video in the wrap-up. Did he die did? Nope. He's just floating. This is his way of cooling off. There they are over there. I'm over here trying to sift. I found a half of a shark vertebra and then also a shark tooth but without the the root. All right, this may be the last fossil find of the day. I hope not, but it certainly could be. A little teeny weeny shark tooth. Just a teeny teeny weeny little guy. We've been making earthworks, dam works right here. Sorry, out of focus. To try and change the way that the uh, the ripples are and the silt on the bottom is so we can kind of search some area that had been moving across and because it's just fun anyway and that little tooth was the the only one that I found from this stuff but as you can see the Sun is going down and so we are almost done for the day so stick around for after this short little clip of uh, dam destruction and we'll do the fossil wrap up back at the house. I'm actually keeping an eye open right now for anything up near the top that might get uncovered as it erodes away. Okay, we're here for the wrap up. I'm going to start with mine and then go on to my dad's. Here's some neat rocks that I found. And here's a nice bead, well worn. Here's a weird fossil that we don't know what is. You mind if I talk about it? Okay. I don't know if it could be a scoot of some kind. I was looking it up online to see if it might be a toe pad from either a mammoth or a horse, a hoof part. It's got some very neat vein structure right down there. And I don't know if that is plant-like vein structure or blood vessel vein type structure or what. But if anybody recognizes this or can tell us what this is, we would greatly appreciate it because it's definitely one of the the neatest parts of the trip, one of the neatest finds, but we just don't know exactly what it is. If it's coral, if it's plant, if it's animal. Alright. I got some mammoth um, enamel right there. Yeah, different pieces of enamel. Keep going. A couple mosasaur vertebrae. This one's really worn. Okay. Some shells. And there's this bivalve tunnel that has a bivalve. Alright. So... Let me see if I can get it focused. Yeah, you'll find these sometimes. It's got the tube and then like a clam or a bivalve down in there. Um, this one's got it broken off, but usually you can see almost the whole bivalve. It's a neat find that you find at this river location. Okay, here's another piece of enamel, but it's from a mastodon. It's the only piece I found today. Yeah, so enamel, when he says enamel, he's talking about teeth. Turn it around, slowly. Yeah, we always love these 
or I, I do especially. Do you like these? Yeah. Yeah, the color is really nice. We, we always like finding pieces of, I mean, it'd be better to find a whole mastodon tooth, but sans that, it's always nice to find the... So here's a bone. It might not be fossil, but I'm pretty sure it's fossil. It's probably a rib bone. I'm not sure. Here's a pretty good big rib bone. It's mostly whole. This one could be from could be from like a mosasaur or something. We're not sure, but it's a nice long section. I was really proud of him whenever he found that piece. It's a good find. Okay. I've got some backlight here. If you're interested in collecting the kind of red, this would be a good starter. It's a pretty good example. We've got some more backlight here. These are incidus or barracuda teeth. And this is the jaw fragments with the teeth. Here are some shark teeth. And I also have a pretty good example of a mosasaur tooth, but it's bit busted up a bit. Still not a bad find. We're really happy about that, yeah? A fragment and this armor plate. It looks like a kind of spike. Here's the bottom. And I don't know that... I don't know if spike is the right word, but um, I don't know if that's part of the bone. I think that I think it could be from a tortoise or something. The inside of its shell at one one section, or a sea a large sea turtle. Here's one of the best finds of the day. It's a well-worn shark vertebrae, but okay, you gotta stop moving it until I get focused. It's okay. a well-worn shark vertebrae, but it's pretty good size, so it's a nice find. Okay, turn it over. All right, and? Here's a knife that I found there. I really didn't want to take it, but it was it had been there for a while, and I wanted to leave it for the owner to come back and take it, but it was going to be raining the next day, so I decided to take it. Yeah, we, we had to talk about this for a while, but with the rain coming for the next four to five days, it was probably going to be washed and buried, washed downstream and buried and such, so. All right. Here's my little collection of things from the trip. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this little guy, but this is a little rodent tooth. And it may be fossil. Uh, without looking at it really closely under a microscope or a good magnifying glass, I won't be able to tell. But I thought that was pretty neat. And I just dropped it under the floor. I'll get that later. All right, and here's a couple of good examples of Hamulus squamosus, also known as worm tubes. Um, I like finding really nice examples of them with the side phalanges or wings or whatever it is. Here was a little type of worm tube thing that I found that I don't believe I'd seen something quite like it before. Um, it's still got the uh, clay or the base sediment on the inside and you've got the tube flattened on this end but you can kind of see how it was probably pushed in there by either a little crustacean or a clam or something. Pretty neat. I've got a couple of nice incidus teeth. This one's broken. This was my crocodilian. Really happy about that. Nice crocodilian there. Not all of the root end, as you'll often find them like that. But still pretty good. A uh, couple of shark's teeth. Here's my little piece of mastodon enamel. Not near as good as my son's, but at least it's something. The little edge to the tur turtle or tortoise shell. You can see the little divisions that they'll have, the pattern around the shell. Here's my collection of silver nuggets for the trip. Melted down slag, aluminum, maybe also tin or zinc in this one especially. So, I mean, it's recyclable, so it's not really... I mean, I might as well carry it out of the river just so it's not contaminating and it's easily recyclable. Um... Let me see if I can show you this. 
This was a neat rock that I found that has fossils all in it. You can see all the different shapes and everything. Hopefully that's showing up well. And a couple of snails. My bacolites for this trip. My pieces of mammoth and horse enamel, tooth enamel. Uh, here's a couple of neat pieces of petrified wood. This one's kind of special and neat because it has the knot of a tree branch in there. A lot of different texture and and knotting and everything going on. So I found that one to be real neat. And this one is another piece of petrified wood that was real neat because it has the little uh, detail of the the channels in it right there. It has a dividing line and then the outer, I don't know if that's bark or not. I don't think this is petrified palm wood. Um, I believe it's, it's, it's a different type of petrified wood, but it was real neat. My shark's teeth, the squared one, which is kind of unique and interesting, and it has the hole in it. So this one may have been used by Native Americans for a bead, but you can't really be sure on that. Uh, the, uh, that one's real worn. This one's in nice shape. It's just smaller. This is a fish vertebra. Not in great condition, but a neat find. This is the Incidus tooth with a section of the jaw attached to it. So that's always neat to find those that have it together like that. Um, there are my Mosasaur vertebra sections from this trip. This is the best one. Isn't that great? This one's okay, but it's very worn. And then this is the example of an extremely worn one, but just based on experience, I'm quite certain that this is a piece of the Mosasaur vertebra. Here we had the fish or dinosaur bone or shoulder blade piece that's really a good size one. I was really happy with that find. Uh, another piece of similar material, but a, lar a smaller section. Uh, my little section of rib bone. And just a piece of bone right there. Now the other thing I hadn't shown before I wanted to show you guys is, and I forgot to look up the name, Ponderosa something, but it's oyster shells, also known as devil's toenail. Uh, that you'll find here in this section of river. Here is a nice large example and on these that I'm showing you a couple of them are unique because they were found with the bottom part of the shell. This one has the bottom part of the shell. This one does not. So you see that one kind of has the cup shape where the oyster would have lived. This one has a flat section there which is this section. This is the smooth inside section of the oyster. See, so that's, that is that right there. So to find both of them together is very unique. It's, it's quite rare, and I found a couple of them like that this time. This one, it's starting to slide a little bit, or it was in the fossilization. Now, one unique thing about these two right here, I guess in theory, if you had a way of using acids or something to dissolve the the surrounding material without hurting the shell, you could actually find fossil pearls in these two. It's a possibility that you could find fossil pearls in these two. But this is just a couple of examples of devil's toenail, or I think it's uh, Ponderosa exogyra. That's, that doesn't sound right. I, I should have looked it up. I'll put it in the description. Uh, but these are a type of oyster that were very common uh, in this fossil material. So there's one. You know, the two would have been together like that with the little oyster on the inside. All right. So that's my finds. Not the most amazing trip yet. Oh, and a couple of other things I forgot to mention. This again is what I believe looks like a fossilized cashew half, but it's actually, a, I believe, a section of a nautiloid 
So there would have been a whole bunch of these just spinning together in a coil, getting smaller as they go inward, getting larger as they go outward. And then this was just something different, unique. It has EMB written on it in the numbers. It's maybe graphite, something like that. It was a neat find, so I am including it. And it's got, looks like a little bit of copper remaining right here because there's some green um, corrosion going on on the end right here. So it may have been something electrical from a light or some, some type of a contact or whatever. I'm not sure. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. If you like this sort of thing, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the channel. We appreciate it, and we'll see you again next time.